Welcome to ICCV 2023. It is a pleasure to present this year's papers from our lab. See you in Paris and enjoy watching. We present Text to Text, a novel method for texture synthesis via diffusion models. Given an untextured mesh and a text prompt as input, our method generates a high quality texture for the object. In comparison to previous text driven methods, our method generates more consistent and detailed textures on objects from the Optiverse 3D dataset. We also show high quality texture generation for ShapeNet objects. For more details, please refer to the paper. We present ScanNet++, a high-fidelity dataset of indoor 3D scenes. Each scene contains 1mm resolution 3D geometry with dense semantic annotations, 33 megapixel DSLR images, and iPhone RGBD streams. ScanNet++ addresses the need for high-fidelity 3D data. Compared to existing datasets such as ScanNet, ScanNet++ provides complete and high-resolution geometry with fine-grained annotations, and high-resolution images with minimal noise and motion blur. We capture a wide variety of indoor scenes, including offices, apartments, conference rooms, workshops, labs, and kitchens. ScanNet++ includes 460 scenes, more than 280,000 DSLR images, 3.7 million iPhone RGBD frames, and more than 1,000 object classes annotated over 21,000 instances. We benchmark state-of-the-art novel view synthesis methods on our DSLR data. We see that our DSLR capture enables high-quality novel view synthesis. However, even the best-performing methods on DSLR data cannot fully model a challenging real-world scene. Furthermore, we also benchmark novel view synthesis on iPhone images. The iPhone data is more challenging, but also better represents common capture scenarios. We believe that benchmarking on iPhone images can enable applications for widespread consumer devices. We benchmark both 3D semantic segmentation and instant segmentation with state-of-the-art baselines on long tail and fine-grained annotations. We see that state-of-the-art methods work well on distinct, large objects such as chairs and tables, but leave room for improvement on smaller objects and ambiguous classes. Our dataset and benchmark will be made publicly available. We hope that ScanNet++ will open up new challenges and stimulate development of new methods for novel view synthesis and semantic scene understanding. We introduce hyperdiffusion, a new paradigm for generative modeling of neural fields that can generate 3D and 4D shapes in a unified diffusion setting. Neural fields are powerful representations for encoding high-dimensional data like 3D shapes. Coordinate locations are input to an MLP which characterizes an implicit surface, for instance, outputting shape occupancy. This enables a high-fidelity surface representation, from which a mesh can be extracted with marching cubes. 4D deforming shapes can be similarly represented by neural fields. Here, 4D coordinates are input into an MLP, outputting shape occupancy over time. These neural fields present a compact encoding of high-dimensional surface data as a set of MLP weights and biases. Complex 3D and 4D shapes can be efficiently represented as vectors of MLP parameters. Thus, rather than modeling raw 3D or 4D surface information, we propose a generative model for neural fields through a diffusion process. Since we characterize surfaces as their optimized MLP parameters, we can generate both 3D and 4D shapes simply as their neural field MLPs. To train the diffusion process for neural fields, we first overfit MLP parameters to each train sample in a dataset. 
we then model a diffusion process on the set of optimized MLP parameters. We add noise to them and train to predict the denoising process using a transformer-based diffusion architecture. We can then synthesize new neural fields as their MLP parameters, sampling weight vectors from our diffusion model and flattening them to MLPs and decoding them as surfaces. Our approach is agnostic to the dimension of the raw encoded data, enabling generation of both 3D and 4D shapes through the same process. The denoising progression from a set of random MLP parameters results in an MLP representing a meaningful shape. Our approach achieves state-of-the-art unconditional 3D shape generation, as well as 4D generation of deforming shapes. Our method can generate new neural fields representing novel shapes, as shown by the nearest neighbors from the train set. We present text to room, extracting textured 3D meshes from 2D text to image models. Given a text prompt as input, our method produces a textured 3D mesh of an indoor scene. We create a scene from a sequence of generated images. We split our method into two stages. In the first stage, we sample predefined camera poses from which the scene is built up over time. In the second stage, we sample additional poses that fill in the remaining holes of the mesh. The resulting scene contains multiple objects and structural elements like walls and floors. For each camera pose in both stages, we first render the current mesh. Then we inpaint the rendered RGB image with a text to image model. Next, we predict the depth for the generated content by using a depth inpainting network. We create smooth transitions from old to new content with an additional alignment step. Finally, we fuse the new content with the existing mesh. We filter stretched out faces from the geometry, resulting in an undistorted next mesh patch. Our method can produce a large variety of indoor scenes with different room types and furniture. We investigate the question as to whether StyleGAN can benefit face recognition. Face recognition typically requires an enormous amount of images with identity labels. Such datasets are usually comprised of celebrities and feature a limited number of distinct people. At the same time, virtually infinite amounts of faces without labels can be gathered from social media. A number of works find a way to create artificial identities from this data by augmentation-based procedures. Instead, our idea relies on learning a generative prior on the unlabeled data for subsequent face recognition training. This paradigm follows the self-supervised learning approach, which requires a pretext task to be solved to learn the prior. In our approach, we make use of the StyleGAN generator and pre-train it together with the inverse network. The backbone, pre-trained to recover latent codes from an image, is later fine-tuned for the face recognition task. In particular, the first pre-training stage involves training StyleGAN2 on a specially collected prior dataset of unlabeled images. During the second stage of pre-training, a convolutional encoder for StyleGAN is trained on the same unlabeled prior dataset. Coupled with StyleGAN, both define an asymmetric autoencoder with a frozen decoder. Finally, the encoder is fine-tuned for the downstream task on a standard face recognition dataset of labeled images. This step follows the recently introduced PSP approach. We demonstrate the effectiveness of our pre-training technique on a standard RFW dataset. The highest quality increase is observed when all available prior data is used. Accordingly, the baseline with our enhancement performs on par with other fairness-concerned state-of-the-art methods. Our dataset features six times larger number of people than RFW and is free of potential selection bias. 
Since RB Webcase is a more challenging benchmark, the same comparison of the baseline versus our approach shows the quality difference in a more expressive fashion. This implies that the proposed pre-training benefits other state-of-the-art pipelines, such as SphereFace and GAC, and hence can be used as an ad hoc improvement of an arbitrary algorithm. Our answer to the initial question is yes. The style again coupled with an encoder network provides an efficient prior for a face recognition network. We present end-to-end -end multi view feature matching using differentiable pose optimization. Conventional pose estimation performs a sequence of isolated steps. First, local feature descriptors are computed. These descriptors are then matched across image pairs and the resulting correspondences serve as constraints for pose optimization. However, erroneous matches have severe impact on the optimization and often require additional measures for outlier rejection. Our idea is to address this problem earlier on by improving the matching. To this end, we jointly match across multiple views to support the correspondence reasoning. Furthermore, we learn feature matching end-to-end -end with pose optimization. This way, the matching network learns the needs of pose estimation. Our method encodes keypoint descriptors from multiple images into a graph network for matching. During message passing, each keypoint interacts with keypoints from the same image through self-attention, and with keypoints from all other images through cross-attention. This way, the receptive field spans across all images to produce globally informed matching solutions. The resulting matches and confidences serve as weighted constraints in a differentiable pose optimization. The loss is defined on the matching and pose estimation result. Our approach is fully differentiable and gradients flow from the loss to the matching network. In this fashion, the network is informed about correspondences that are better suited for pose optimization and learns to downweight outliers. We visualize the reprojection error by projecting the ground truth depth maps using the estimated poses. Our method produces fewer outliers and performs better in the presence of repetitive patterns. Our multi-view approach enables correct matches even across large viewpoint changes. Thank you for watching.